Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we're making my delicious strawberry coffee cake in our second cookbook. Now you can use any fruit that's your favorite. Chris loves strawberries. Collard Valley Cooks and today we're making a delicious strawberry coffee cake. It's going to be so good. This is something I did years ago. It's in our second cookbook actually and we're going to be using a brownie pan to put it in. So it needs to be like a 7 by 11 or a 9 by 9. We're going to start out with our cake mix. We're going to start out with three tablespoons of melted butter and we're going to add a half cup of white sugar, we're going to put in two eggs, my oven's preheated to 350 degrees. Now we're going to add a little bit of vanilla. And three quarter cups of buttermilk. And now we're going to put in one and a half cups of self-rising white lily flour. One and one half cups. This is a simple recipe. i got a pretty little bowl, but I think it's going to work. And then a half cup. That's all there is to it. Once I get it good and wet, I'm going to get it out of whisk and whisk it together a little bit. And you don't have to, but I'm going to. Rinse my hand off. By the time you get this thing mixed up, your oven ought to be preheated. Don't take but a minute. So if you're hungry in the morning, you can mix this up in the morning. Now we're going to be using strawberries, but you can use any fruit you want to. So remember that. Get you out of whisk so that you get most of the lumps out. See the difference it makes? Just a little elbow grease. There it is. Cake mix. Now in this, we are going to put four tablespoons of melted butter. I am going to put in my strawberries first and my sugar, then I'm going to drizzle the butter over the top. So we're going to add our strawberries. You can use peaches, blueberries, blackberries, whatever you want it to be. It'll be good no matter what you pick. Now we're going to add pecans to ours, and if you don't want nuts on yours, of course you don't have to put nuts on yours. If you want cream cheese in yours, sure, you can mix up a little cream cheese with some powdered sugar and drizzle it over the top if you want to. But now we are not going to do that today. We're going to use just my basic recipe. 
So we're going to take a half, let's say a third cup of sugar, and we're going to sprinkle the top of the berries. Now, if for some reason you're diabetic, then use some Splenda. But the sugar will also make it real pretty on the top. I've got some pecans over there. Now I'm going to take a half cup of chopped pecans and sprinkle across the top. Well, I'm calling it the top, but it'll be the top when we flip it upside down when it's done. But right now it's the bottom. Now I'm going to put the rest of my sugar in. All right, I should have sprayed it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and spray the edges. Hopefully, with all the butter going in, it'll keep it from sticking. Plus, this is a non-stick pan, so I'm in luck, right? I love these little pans I got. Um, now, we're going to put some butter in it. Let's finish off our sugar. Now, we're going to pour our butter in. I'm going to try to get it pretty evenly placed so that maybe it won't stick to the bottom of the pan. And you could always mix it up if you want to. But I think it looks good like it is, don't you? Now we're going to get our cake in there. We're going to perk us up some old-fashioned coffee and have us some delicious coffee cake today. Oh, is it going to be delish? See how fast and easy that is, y'all? Simple dimple and so good. I'm going to get this in the oven and we're going to bake it about 25 or 30 minutes. Make sure it's done in the middle, though. Check it with a toothpick. See y'all in a few minutes. All right, our cake is done. It started pulling from the sides a little bit. That's when you know for sure it is done. We're gonna sit it out on this cooling rack and we're gonna let it cool for just uh, five minutes and then we're gonna flip it upside down and take a look at it. It smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. So in about five minutes, you should be able to grab the edges of this pan and it not burn you and flip it out. We're hoping that it works because I didn't really spray it like I should have first. But look, it worked. It's just a few strawberries on the bottom. We'll get them out and put them on there. That's good. Woo, it smells so good, y'all. It smells like strawberry jelly. Pretty much what it is. Ain't it? Chris loves strawberry jelly, don't you, Chris? Yep. So he ought to like this coffee cake. And y'all use your favorite fruit. No matter what it is. Apples, blueberries, blackberries, peaches, pears, whatever you like. All right. We're going to let that sit just a second. And then we're going to cut us a piece and give it a try. You gotta have some coffee when you're having coffee cake. Let's get us a slice. Take a bite. Great thing about dumping it upside down is that it slices easy and it transfers to the plate well. Yummy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's better than a strawberry biscuit, y'all. Woo, that's good. I know one thing. Chris will have a big piece of this this morning. That's delicious. Now, this is so easy, y'all. This is definitely a holiday recipe. If you've got people coming over to spend the night, Boy, get you a couple of different kinds of fruit. 
make a couple of these, and everybody there is going to be happy, even the kids. And the pecans sit on the bottom of that pan, get a little bit toasty. Y'all, it is delicious. You can't find a better coffee cake. And it don't need any cream cheese either. It's delicious just like it is. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back.